so i am getting where your person wants to come in they're on the edge the brink of coming into you showing up the bags already packed you know the suitcases are already ready someone already has the ticket book the flight they're on the brink on the edge of moving toward you all right maybe not literally you know booking flights but someone has already decided to move toward you someone has already made up their mind but then i'm getting like there is an energy that is blocking you like so, for example, they may show up and say, is so-and-so here? You, they're looking for you or they want to have, they want to confirm that you're going to come through with them. And then there's a third part to energy. Let's say, for example, your mother shows up at the door and tells this person that you're not going, you're not interested. It may not be your mother or it may not even be a person. There is a vibration of an energy that is keeping someone that is prepared for you that is ready for you that knows that you are who they want to be with and both of you may be young or similar in energy in some way shape or form and someone is just feeling like everything was right so why the blockage now what's really going on so someone is like trying to get around the obstacle trying to get around the blockage trying to have some type of an understanding of what is going on here so this person is looking into your history they're researching you you may say that they're stalking you they're looking you up online they're trying to um look into this person that's blocking you or whatever this prevention is they're trying to look look moon card maybe a pisces maybe someone from your past that is trying to block this connection going forward but it is as if you are you don't have a voice you are not speaking like you are not allowed to speak with this person you're not allowed to connect with them someone is speaking on your behalf someone is um presenting for you someone is taking messages for you and it is as if you are somehow weakened in your tailbone area, maybe in your roots where it feels like you are not thinking for yourself or someone like imagine this woman now that is a mother. Remember that these messages are for your entertainment, take what applies, leave what is not and for you and use your discernment. Yeah, someone, oh my God, someone is narcissistic. The Ten of Swords is on the bottom of the deck here. I was about to say, so imagine if this so-called mother or this figure, this so-called guardian that is protecting you or preventing someone from getting into your life. Now, this is reminding me of um a movie. It is called The Vampires and they had this zing. And um, so the, the Dracula did not want his daughter to date the human boy. So he was like trying to say she's not interested. She's not available. Even though the, 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 the pursuer was like eager to get inside and to know what's going on. Someone was, someone is just really curious about you. But, um, so they're trying to, yeah. So imagine that person or that is so called this guardian that is blocking. Imagine they're kind of like lying to you. They're keeping you under a spell. Like, they're trying to weaken you. They're trying to just make you not speak up or believe in yourself. They also don't want you to know that there is someone looking for you. They don't want you to know that someone is asking about you, asking for your number, asking where you live. Someone is telling someone else that they're interested in you or like they're showing interesting interest in you, interest in your lifestyle, um, something like this. There is someone that is acting like they know you or they know what's best for you. That they're giving someone information above you. And it just feels like you're in Ten of Swords energy. You're on lockdown. You're go it seems like you're going through something. It's giving me a little bit of Cinderella energy. And as I said that, I feel like I want you to become more empowered in the way you speak about yourself and how you show up and manifest. Because there's no one that can block you and i feel like there's also credits to the originator there is no power on earth that is greater than love and there if someone is really showing up for you you are going to stand up and like move forward and take your power back and show up at the door even while this person is lying that you're not interested or you're not there or you're not doing well or you change your mind or whatever you know 
they may be even lying that you're not interested you're interested in different in different kinds of things you're not interested in that kind of thing to put someone off you know they talk behind your back too and laugh too they may try to belittle you it doesn't the extent that they will go to keep someone from you they will like have fake dinner dates with this person like you know let's go out and talk somewhere else than you know to distract this person and lead this person away from you and it's something like that um but some and i feel like they have succeeded in doing so to some extent because um I feel like this person, they kind of, they got this desperate or they got disappointed or they got like, um, they, it's like they accepted that they weren't going to see you because someone put them off. Okay. Mm -hmm. And then this person was going to come back around to you and tell you lies like, no, no one called or no one messaged you or no one, no one showed up, S something like that. Because it's just varying you now where this could be a parent or this could be an ex or a caregiver or just someone that is controlling, possessive. Um, and I don't know. I don't know. I just don't. I think they keep you. Right. Imagine, imagine someone thought that they found you, they rescued you, and then they just got, <clears throat> they got obsessed with you and they don't want you to go, go on, even though, you know, you were now safe. And they're not coming back and telling you the truth that someone is looking for you. Someone is interested in you. So let's see. Yeah, five of cups. The person that is looking for you, I hear, yeah, they are. Okay, so we have the five of cups. It feels like a dream I'm getting. And this person, they feel your energy so powerfully, potently. They know that you are still there. They know that you're, there's something that they need to seek out more of. But someone has been trying to turn this person away. It's giving me mystery, like strange and eerie. And someone is like really looking into your recovering. Someone is really trying to get information on you to, to see who these people are that surround you. Because I'm feeling like someone just really wants to come and pull you out. They just feel like desperate to save you. I hear matrimony. Because they feel like something is really going on. They want to come and tell you the truth or ask you some questions. Yeah. Page of, page of diamonds. Mm -hmm. Hangman card. I feel that this person, they've been getting readings on you. Or paying, paying some way, shape or form to get information on you. Or something about money and this love reading. You are also insightful. Soulmate. I hear dreams, guilt. Someone may have turned their soulmate away. I know this person. Someone is really like watching you online though. Or they're watching you telepathically. They're keeping tabs on you. Cancerian. They want to know what you know or they want to know the truth. And like someone special wants to collaborate with you or to work with you, to heal with you. But I feel like this person, they know you. But like they know you personally, but they're also watching you online. Like I feel like this person, they know you and they did something and you and them are now separate. I'm getting something about your mother and so now that you, are, you and them are now separate they're still like watching you online to see when is the best time or how best to move back around to you this person I'm getting a kind energy like they are truly sorry or they truly want to connect with you with this one with this energy renewal three of swords because I'm getting like this person is draining your energy. Oh, someone is draining your energy. Three of swords. Or just someone you have a bond, a bond with. A special, like a special bond that you cannot understand. Someone is feeling sad, broken hearted. Perfection. And sorry that they let you go or they gave up on you. Someone is sorry that they did not carry you. Or they missed you, rejection. Or they miscarried you or misjudged you. Or they did not choose you. 
right forgiveness this person they want back to be in your life again and they want they're like sorry for the mistakes that they made that's how that, that's what they're saying now it could be like they gossiped about you and did things behind your back so let's see where is cancerian in this reading yeah victim card so you were the victim however you you are the one that is taking your power back and you're moving forward you've got some clearance clarity and truth and you're just going after your joy your bees your prosperity your honey energy your sweetness of life and it is good and your sweetheart as well king of cups yeah and the high priestess card someone like you never mind ace of diamonds yes the person that's oh my god this is my north star ace of diamonds so someone that thought that they lost you there's going to be a reunion a reconnection like they're going to find you again i hear nonsense it felt like it was just like someone is saying did you really expect me to give up on us on this someone is feeling like someone was like they promised that they would have come back around to you joy this is giving me the energy of a father and um like a, his little daughter and she sees him as her you know whatever so he's like did you really think i was not gonna come around to you self-worth yeah so someone is showing up for you that has come back for you prayer an answer to your prayer perfection it is i feel everything is going going to be all right someone may have dreadlocks or maybe rastafarian and i love you is the energy rejection i feel like you are also healing from reject feelings of rejection or it's like a misunderstanding forgiveness right like you're feeling like or recognizing some things were a misunderstanding and it is okay and it is so beautiful passion because certain feelings are so real also be mindful of people just loving you because they know that that is what you want so being real with yourself and trust your intuition i feel like you're going to be okay it is going to be okay to open your heart up and trust someone because i feel like at this point you trust yourself and this could be like a part of the energy that was blocking you from someone coming into your life the lack of trust in yourself believe in yourself and it's going to be so <laughs> beautiful um when you finally free that up in you break certain spells and see the truth and it's the light the day is clearer life is more beautiful everything is more fun everything is just high vibe and the the the, the, the facade is over what the spell that someone had you under if you had trust issues, maybe you had daddy issues. Someone is going to teach you. Oh my gosh. Youth. Someone is like healing you as well. Someone is, this person, this new love is also showing you how to face your fears. You're going to be even more disciplined, more enlightened, more connected to creation, Mother Earth, Gaia. You're going to be more aware of your footsteps and you may be even having a youth in this connection with someone or recovering your virility and your fertility your your love for self your love for life your joy bittersweet so i feel like you're, you're also being shown some hard truth about certain i hear adaptability about certain certain things that you were holding on to certain things that you did not want to accept about yourself that you're breaking free off of i also feel money coming your way your guilt you're going to learn some hard painful things but it's beautiful in the making imagine this person just being there with you and saying look at this face this truth do this thing it you've got to get through it so you could be going through some healing from certain from um addictions and reconnecting with yourself healing from from being confined or imprisoned by someone for so long wow enlightenment this person that is coming is coming to heal you this is a shaman this person is gifted like this person does energy work and they know what they're doing you've got to believe in this person mysticism i'm getting you should believe in yourself that this person was chosen or you were chosen for this person 
and that you're going to be all right you may feel like you lose some things but you're going to find what you're supposed to find upon this journey and you're going to feel gratitude you're going to be leveling up when it comes to your insecurities how you spend your money also i feel like there's some harsh truth about the way you've been giving away your money or not caring about your money or the way you've been carrying yourself or thinking there's someone coming in your life that is not going to give up on you that is helping you to heal beautifully to overcome some programmings that is why this was this blockage was adamant in your life because this could have been an energy or a person that just did not want you to be better like they just if you were better mentally physically financially spiritually they would have just kept you this person was scared to lose you it is as if you and this person were connected by a cord and they thought that they were carrying you but it was like essentially this person was scared to feel separate from you like it feels like they feel like they would die if they were separate from you this person someone is feeling like they could not breathe if you were not with them so this person has been draining your energy and it's been affecting your life your health your progress your productivity your fertility your virility your connection to life and this is an energy from a root that you should cut out so that someone in your life that has been trying to keep you stagnant or has been can learn to lean on themselves and stand on their own because you having this person i don't know who this is leaning on you is mashing you down release and gossip and then all they can do is talk about you can you believe it they still talk about you defame you try to talk about your insecurities i tell you this person going back to the, the beginning that they would go out with they would like let you stay home and then go out and tell people like the worst things about you so that they and then they come home and and act like i don't know it's just so weird dissipating that's how they want to just it's just so strange it's like i don't know this is this is serious as well you know I'm feeling like someone could be just being kept in a serious way. And then someone that is curious or nosy or not giving up, despondent, is coming to find you and to break you free. Someone is not giving up on you because your soul has been calling out for this person. They feel you. You are like this person's missing piece or you, they are your missing piece. So they, like the soul filler that is why they cannot give up on you. You are their call calling and they are your calling. It is meant to happen. But there's a like a wicked witch empress possibly in some way, shape or form or a fake one. That was like this person is doing like candle magic or whatever. I don't know for sure exactly. This person is feeling like you are connected to them. Strong. It could be a maternal energy. I hear police. And they've been trying to like tie you bond you to them maybe with guilt or whatever and block you and they were having other people working with them as well and now they're angry they're upset i hear jewelry this person someone is just upset now that either you're speaking the truth you're becoming aware you're bec you're getting older your destiny is calling are you someone is upset that you want to rule your destiny this person is just not used to you not f wanting to be under their thumb. They're not used to not saying that they have breastfed you and that they care for you. They're just, you need to break away from this person. Isolation. I feel like you are, you are some, you're just pulling your power back. You've like taken your power back from this person or you're currently doing so. And they can feel it and it is making them upset imagine the energy of a mother that um has a baby that she just he keeps feeding and feeding and feeding and it's just gotten a weird way and people have to come and say no you can't do this or something is going on something is really strange right here all right gossip let's move on king of diamonds and for some this could be a over a man in your life or a woman for some this is about estate or money or ego ruling things dummy abundance it is about money and it is about a child 
There's something about a child, an offspring that someone is upset about that they've probably been keeping for years or your inheritance or your money or some secret or some malice about some man or a kingdom. But your kingdom comes. I'm telling you, everything that is yours comes to you. You're, oh my gosh, your abundance is so magnificent. And when your own throne arrives, it's everything. Destiny. Expansion. Okay? Wow. So some, it's like someone should not have been worrying about you because you, you have your own. Either you have your own money, you have your own business, you have your own money, you have your own life. You have your own things to do. But someone couldn't see that. Someone couldn't see about your development. They just wanted to keep you kept. It made them feel secure. I'm not sure if this person was living off of your energy or what service in some way shape or form or they think that you owe them or you need to live for them but you weren't really living passion in the reverse card they were taking your life taking your power keeping you stuck keeping you from living in this beautiful and this fulfilling energy so imagine this is a fairy tale and the prince comes around and when the, the king or the prince comes around it's a beautiful day he's in his full glory and but you is in that contrast where you feel broken in spirit but this person is coming to look for you and he's mannerable he's like good day madam isn't there a wonderful beautiful maiden around here i, I could have and you could hear his energy out there with, with the waters rushing because it's like you never really get to see options full life good looking men good men good choices you never really get to see outside and what life really is like living some of you you never had some of you you're still um you, you're still maintaining yourself you haven't given yourself up you know maybe you haven't so a lot of things when it comes to relationships you're still yet to experience fatherhood this person that is coming to look for you is supposed to plant seeds all right someone is scared of that joy someone is scared that someone is gonna plant seeds in your fertile spaces or vice versa because and this could be your mother or your father i feel for masculine energies this is your father even if your father is not alive it just feel like they are somehow overpowering you when it comes to planting seeds it's like it take it takes back in some way it, you, like you feel like you're infertile but you are not you're not believe you me king of yeah see this is the king of swords i was feeling of a masculine energy just guarding someone even in spirit this you're about to see the truth now king right we have three kings on the table so i'm channeling strong masculine energies whether you're masculine or feminine and you're, if you're having relationship blocks or stumbles this is the truth there were people competing with you and this could be ab among your brothers or your sisters masculine feminine right there was something about you that was coming true and it's like you didn't realize that things were also falling apart as other people got different feelings about who they felt were standing in their way or what you did not feel that way you were not competing you know, you were focusing on healing everyone, bringing everyone together. But I feel like all, they were trying to compete with you and steal from you. But the energies, they can never steal from you. Like, what is yours is yours. Like, these people would have tried so hard so you don't get something, inherit something, or know yourself. But then it's like it was so f futile because you still get your loads of abundance just dropping in your arms and they're looking at you like how come how come some of you you're about to even carry beautiful babies prayer and someone wants that with you there's a person that is wishing and hoping for these feelings with you or this could be you or you're going to find that right person but this message has been long i'll catch you in the next one 
take it easy out there like share comment subscribe let me know if any of the messages resonates with you in any way shape or form the page of wands on the bottom of the deck was the initial energy of the person that is like in pursuit of you that is curious about you as yeah the first prints or the fresh prints are you are just someone's choice and i'm telling you as the truth becomes clearer to you your life is freeing up and more beautiful things are manifesting in your life and you're not going to really be holding hard feelings i feel like but all the best to you beautiful souls you also have options multiple people interested in you strong energies it's three kings and you are just so attractive you are attracting all of this you are a mighty force pulling a lot of attention to you because of who you are and what you do something that you do it's so very attractive it's alluring it's high value it shows self-worth it shows discipline it shows confidence it shows emotional stability it shows militancy you know so you are like what you're like um something like the one to be chosen or like you have suitors all right, um, take it easy out there. All is well and all is within you, beautiful soul. Like the video, share, comment, subscribe. All of your support is abundantly appreciated. And I wish the best for you on your journey. Take care. Bye.